Oh my gosh. I no, I mean, <gasps> that was to go Be really totally hard. Apparent. Her roar as mighty as ever. Katy Perry's hip-filled residency at Resorts World Las Vegas is still packing them in, taking them back, and lifting them up. When you're up there, you can see what people are feeling. You are, you are running a time machine. You're bringing them back. I'm bringing them back. Music is so special, like that a sense and that, like, a certain smell can take you and transport you to a place. A certain song can do the same. And I think there's a few of my songs that do that. Did you find your teenage dream? Because I found mine. Teens of all ages cheering for the eye-popping spectacle and gleefully oversized antics of Katy Perry play, going strong since the end of 2021. How has it evolved for you in the time that you've been doing it? Well, I don't have to rehearse as much. It's kind of like muscle memory. <laughs> um, it's a 5,000 seater auditorium. So you get to see me up close and personal. Everything feels so familiar and a little bit nostalgic because I'm playing most all of my hits, I guess you would say. All killer, no filler. Uh, so what, hey, that's what I say. There you all go, killer, right? no filler. That's how it rolls. There's still a chance to hear bangers like I Kissed a Girl before the superstar takes her final Vegas bow in November. Should we do it Vegas style? Proud of her show's joy and creativity and of her offstage life with fiance Orlando Bloom and their daughter Daisy Dove. If you're a parent now, how do you manage that while you're doing this show? Sometimes the balls get dropped <laughs> privately but I know how important it is to some um, audience members. This show is my favorite show I've ever created. I also get to be a really hands-on mother. I got to drop my daughter off at preschool this morning. I think what's really important to me is to be celebrating just the world that I've got to build and to be responsible for a life for a three-year-old. I mean, if I don't get these right, I'm gonna pay for that for the rest of my life. Well, remember, rebellion is what helped get you here in the first place. So yeah, I was just gonna say, if I don't get it right, maybe there'll also be some great art that comes out of it. <laughs> and we've seen how hard it is on people with your lifestyle and your yes. job. What has helped you to maintain your positivity, your sense of self as you've gone through all these things? Well, I mean, admitting that it's not always a bed of roses and just because you have success doesn't mean you're exempt from pain and suffering. I think my fiance keeps me really grounded. Um, he's, what, when you say he keeps you grounded, what does that mean? I mean, he like knows who I am and he knows that like when I'm stepping onto stage, it's a really heightened 3D version of some piece of me that is called <laughs> Katy Perry. Okay, well, welcome to my stage of play in Las Vegas. She brought us on stage and backstage to share her show's secrets. These are the stairs I get to climb every night, and I say get because I could use those steps because I don't like working out. This is kind of my big showgirl moment. Right. This is where I do roar. This is all where right. all the magic happens. Okay. Let's say you're the costume changer, and they have a costume ready. Here. Right. This one. Okay. You have a costume ready, and I'm literally just going like this. Just so like it's like that. I'm a car in like a NASCAR race or a Formula One. Right. And I'm just here and you're you're like you're changing my tires, but really you're changing my costume. This is the heaviest costume you can imagine, too. Oh, and here's some of my toys. Ah. I would consider myself a pretty self-aware person. Yes. And I will proudly say that I think that this is one of the best shows in, in Las Vegas. She performed during the Biden inauguration festivities. It's your original. And as part of the coronation of King Charles III. Now this view offers her the regal perspective. This is where I come and I pop up. It's it's kind of like the royal. It is. But different. When you actually are put in charge of a nation. Yes, this will be my work. throne. What will you always remember about this residency? I will always remember this joy of community and family and togetherness, all singing the same song. So there's an energy that's wonderful. I'll never forget that energy. I'll never forget the joy. I'll never forget the happiness. I'll never forget the 20 foot toilet that I pop out of.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.